Yo, 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 this your boy, the real McCoy, coming at you, man. Be talking about a little NBA, a little basketball, some hoops, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's been a minute, man, since I did since I did a basketball video, man. Uh, I've been I've been going hard on my, on my NFL, my Cowboys, and, and boxing. You know what I mean? NFL, well, football and boxing, my two favorite sports. But, you know, an NBA training camp was just kicked off a few days ago. Um, everybody's going hot and, hot and heavy. Season starts in about a month, you know what I mean? Right around Halloween, things like that. So, took me talk. I want to talk a little. Talk about a little NBA. It's been it's been a minute, man. And um, one of the things that jumped out to me automatically was uh Kevin Durant. And the reason why I say Kevin Durant, he's coming off the uh, last year. He had the uh, off season foot surgery, missed some games. He played. Then he basically re-aggravated the injury. And after he came back, and then they and they they just shut him down um for the rest of the year. And you know, and Russell Westbrook carried the team, led the NBA in scoring twenty eight, I think like twenty eight points a game, something like that. MVP candidate. They didn't make the playoffs, but what stood out, jumped out to me was um when they, when I first heard that he was gonna miss the season, first thing jumped in my head was he he he's gonna go to the Washington Wizards. And that, that just I mean I know there's no proof or video of me, you know what I mean. That's just what popped in my head back way back then. During the season, he's gonna go to the Wizards. Don't know when. I have, I'm not an NBA insider or anything. Like I don't know Kevin Durant. Never met him. That's just what popped in my head. You know what I'm saying? And about a about a week ago, John Wall came out, the point guard for the Washington Wizards, young talented point guard, all star. Um, he came out and said that he's gonna try and make a pitch to Kevin Durant. He hasn't done it yet. He don't know. He doesn't know when. He's gonna try and make a pitch to uh to Kevin Durant. About coming to the Wizards, and I was like, "Oh, okay, that's the same thing." What I was thinking, that's what I was thinking. You know what I mean? I mean, Durant was was born in D.C., played, went to high school, played um, high school ball in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. Things, so he basically be going home, and that seems to be the trend with these All Star free agents. LeBron went back home to Cleveland. Well, he went from Akron, but whatever. Um, Melo, he left Denver a few years back to go to New York. But I think Melo actually went in high school with um, the same high school Kevin Durant did, Oak Hill Academy in Virginia. But anyway, he went back home. He was born in New York, in Brooklyn, in New York. LaMarcus Aldridge, now even though I think he's from Dallas, he left Portland to come back to Texas to play with the Spurs. Spurs look good, man. They look really good. Um, so that came, that seems to be the, the trend that these stars are headed in. And say it makes they got a solid roster. Um, 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 Bradley Bill at the two guard. Now, he, now he, I know he did say they haven't offered him a contract yet during the, um, the media day, but they got um, John Wall at point, and they got Nene and Gortat as their power four in their center. So, I mean, if, if if the Durant does go there, but the thing is, how would he get there? Because at the end of this season, not next year, at the end of this season, Kevin Durant is a unrestricted free agent. You know what I mean? And you you want the luxury to have to be an unrestricted. I mean, you're free. You know, you're free to go to any team. Unrestricted free agent, man. And you know, so the the OKC Thunder, <coughs> they have to look back. You look at the whole uh, LeBron James summer 2010. In 2010, he left Cleveland, and they got nothing in return. Nothing. Just left. You know what I mean? And it's you can't. It's hard to replace especially LeBron James, and just have nothing. Now, the Thunder, they've got Russell Westbrook there. You know what I mean? Now, when LeBron left Cleveland, the good that they did get out of that, I think the four years he was down in Miami, I think the Cleveland got, what, um, three number one overall picks? Three number one picks? Anthony Bennett, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I think he's up in Toronto trying to, it's probably his last chance. He's getting an NBA. Kyrie Irving, good pick. And I think just last year, Andrew Wiggins out of Kansas, even though they traded him for Kevin Love to Minnesota and things like that. But the Thunder, that's not going to happen. That's just not going to happen. You know, that's not going to happen. But so do you just let him, do you take that chance and just let him walk? You know what I'm saying? Or do you you sit down with him during the season and like, hey, what do you want to do here? Because <clears throat> you can get a lot of return for Kevin Durant, no doubt. Do, do you just let him walk? Or do you get something in return? Do you take that risk? Do you take that chance? You know what I mean? I, I, I definitely like Kevin Durant with the Wizards. I think it's a solid fit. Now, 
in the Eastern Conference, especially this year, maybe even next year as well, but especially 2015-2016 season, the Eastern Conference is, is going through the Cavaliers. It's, it's, I mean, you, you can hand the Cavaliers the East. Here you go. It's yours to lose. If you lose it, then that's on you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's theirs to lose. Now, with a Duran and, and a Beal and a John Wall and, and a uh, Nene and a Gortat, their starting five can, peak, can, can compete with the Cavaliers. I don't know if they have the depth. You know, I, I, I don't know if they have the depth to do it. They definitely have the starting five to do it. You know what I mean? And I'm also hearing that, I'm hearing Kevin Durant say he might go to L.A. He didn't say which team in L.A., Lakers, Clippers, just L.A. I'm hearing New York. You know, I'm only hearing Miami. I'm definitely hearing the Wizards. The Wizards. But if I had to say right now, I would have to say that. I think this is going to be, if it's his last full year, I think this is going to be his last full year in OKC. You know, what I mean, they. I mean, it might be a blockbuster trade at the trade deadline because you don't want to have because you don't want to have a saga. You know, what I mean, with with Melo and the Nuggets, Willie Go, who's coming. You know, what I mean, the whole Dwight Howard saga. You know, what I mean, and then me living in Central Florida and being an Orlando Magic fan, I know all about that. I'm not saying Kevin Durant has that type of Dwight Howard type of personality, but you don't want to. I mean, that that weighs on it on the franchise, the fans, the fan base, the other players. You want to make a decision, you know what I mean? And me thinking like a GM, like I normally am, it's tough. It's, it's risky. I, I will offer him a max deal, and if you know if he's kind of wavering on it, I mean, cause I mean, cause what if what if the Thunder are to say that they're the number one seed right around All Star break trade they are best record in the NBA, number one seed in the West. You know what I mean? I don't think so, but it's possible. You know what I mean? Number one seed, and we got a chance to win the chip this year. We got a, we got a real chance to win the chip. But Kevin Durant, you know what I mean? He he's wavering. He doesn't really, he doesn't sign. I mean, I mean, if he doesn't sign, right? I can't. It's the chance you got to take. Should we give up on this season and think and think long term and future? And I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But I definitely think this is gonna be his last year in OKC. You know what I mean? But. It's hard when you lose an MVP. I mean, it's not hard. It's unlikely. How many? I mean, I don't know how many teams out there can lose an MVP and have an All Star waiting in the rings. Kind of like with Cavaliers, maybe. If LeBron decides to leave, they got Kyrie. But we've seen a, a Cavaliers team led by Kyrie Irving. They never made the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Now throw Kevin Love in the mix as well. But if he, if Kevin Durant does decide to leave OKC, they got Russell Westbrook. MVP candidate last year, led the league in scoring last year. Did was doing everything he possibly could to. Uh, and they were, I think they were in the playoff hunt until like those 82 games in the seat until what game 80, 80, 81, maybe 82. I think like game 80. Then I think they finally got eliminated by the um the Pelicans. Um, but well, the Pelicans had won enough games. I think there was like two games left, and they were like two and a half back, so it just didn't matter. Something like something like that. I can't remember exactly, but. You know what I mean? So he carried him. So I mean, now you can build a franchise around Westbrook, and that's probably what Westbrook. That's probably what he wants anyway. You know, I I personally just think this is going to be his last year in OKC. I, I don't know if he's going to be the Wizards. You know what I mean? Now the road to the to the I'm not going to say winning a chip because that's hard. That's a lot of pressure to win it. But the road to the East, or through the playoffs to get to the finals. It's a lot easier in the East than it is in the West, especially with LaMarcus Aldridge coming down to the Spurs, Paul Pierce going to the Clippers. They're deep, you know what I mean? Things like that. Then you got the on um, the Warriors. They're young, talented. They still want to prove a point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So out East, I think Atlanta Hawks, I think they'll be good. They've gained some experience of getting to the conference finals, getting swept with home court advantage. Best record in the NBA. No, second best to the Warriors, you know what I mean? And uh, getting swept, then win that one game in the conference finals against the Cavaliers, and you know, with Kevin Durant, I mean, obviously he's the type of player you put him on his team, you're automatically better. You know what I mean? Especially on offense, defense, he can, he can work on some things. You know, and he and he said at the media day that he's, he's focused on defense this year, which he needs to. He should he should do that. But um, I mean, it's, it's interesting. I mean, it's definitely because you don't want to just have the guy me just with the GM thinking. But I got my GM hat on. I'm looking at with LeBron in 2010. He got nothing in return. And, you know, and Durant might not be like LeBron for four years from now. I'm gonna come back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that that that's risky. That's risky. And it's in the risk you take. What if you're number one, number two seed in the West? You're playing. You're playing well. Durant MVP candidate. 
I mean, the team is gelling, the new coaching staff, things like that. It's like, man, should we should we give up on this season, a chance of winning the chip, and train the, and we get nothing in return if he just walks away, like what LeBron did Cleveland. And I'm not I'm not talking about the whole the decision and all that on ESPN. Just the fact of him just leaving, and you get nothing in return, nothing. You can get a lot of value in return for Kevin Durant. I know his contract is is 20 million. He's worth every penny of that, no doubt, no doubt. You know he's worth every penny of that, man. So. I don't know, man. It's just, I, I definitely think he's going to be his last year in uh, OKC. Um, I think Washington sounds good to him. The Wizards, solid team already. Now, if he goes there via, tr via trade, what's going to be there? Well, John Wall, well, they're not going to, they already got Westbrook, so they don't need John Wall. Will Bradley Beal still be there? Will Gortat be? Don't know. Now, if he just walks there in next year, I don't know what. But the name go talk. I don't know if they have it left in the tank for 2016, 2017. But if you got Durant, Bradley Beal, and John Wall, you can build off that, especially in the East. You can build off that, man. You can build off that. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know, man. I, I def it's interesting. There's no doubt about that, man. It's just fu funny. That's the first thing that popped in my head. Then say about a week ago, I heard John Wall say that. Just like oh, was it Kevin Durant. He was trying to make a pitch uh, last offseason to Pal Gasol to come play with, with uh, to join the Thunder. But, you know, he, he ended up going to Chicago with the Bulls. But, man, it's, it's interesting. I, 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 I de if I had to bank, bank money, I definitely believe this is going to be his last year in OKC, man. And um, where he goes, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I mean, L.A. is always, you know what I mean, the, the, the Laker mystique, the Clippers, a team that's coming up. I mean, Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, Kevin Durant. Holy, <laughs> whole, you know what I'm saying? Incredible team. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking Wizards. I'm, I'm thinking Wizards or maybe L.A. Wizards are, are, def, are definitely L.A. I don't know, you know, is there enough basketballs to go? If Kobe's still there, now if Kevin Durant decides to go there, you know, unless Kobe has some type of huge, severe injuries, that'll definitely motivate. Like, oh, shoot, I got Kevin. I can make some things happen. Don't know if there are enough basketballs to go around, especially playing with Kobe. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not a Kobe fan. You know what I mean? My brother loves Kobe. But anyway, man, um, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting, man, because I'm just, you know, the season's about a month away. I'm, I'm excited about the season. You know, basketball isn't one of my favorite sports, but I, I definitely watch enough of it to understand, you know, what's going on. You know what I mean? Uh, I love basketball. I'm just excited. And just one of the interesting stories, you know what I mean, that's in, in training camp so far, especially when I see, when I heard John Wall say that, I was like, man, they've got a solid roster already. Then I put my GM cap on as, you know, the GM of the Thunder. What do I do here? Because you got to look back at LeBron in the 2010 summer. He just leaving. They've got nothing every because the, the Thunder won't get what two or three number one overall in the, in the, in the lottery. They're not gonna get that. D -d -d that no, that will probably won't ever happen again. <laughs> They're not gonna get that, especially with Westbrook. They'll be fighting right around, fighting for eighth spot in the playoffs. Probably won't get there. So if it comes down the draft, they'll be right around nine, ten, eleven, getting a pick like that. You know what I mean? So. Is there that much quality depth in the college where you get a, a get a guy and Russell Westbrook carries to a chip? It's hard to replace Kevin Durant. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. It's, it's interesting. I, I I just wonder what what he's gonna do because I definitely think he's played this. This is gonna be his last year with the Thunder. Not saying OKC is horrible, or anything like that. And they built a lot of success there. He's won MVP there. He's won scoring titles. They've won the West before. Oh, they, I mean, he, they've been to the Western Conference Finals, I think, what, three times? They won once, something like that. I could be wrong, about two or three times. So they built some success there. You know, it, it won't be easy to just walk away. Like, LaMarcus Aldridge leaving Portland. He's been there for so long. I'm just going to leave. Nah, it's nothing. I mean, it's hard to walk away. But at the end of the day, these guys are competitors, and they want to win. You know, he want to win. He's got a good shot of doing that with the Wizards. Weaker conference, a solid team. 
They can make some noise. It'd be Wizards in Cleveland all day. You know what I mean? Anyway, I just, that, that was just interesting to me, man. I, I'm, I'm excited about the season. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, man. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. What would you do if you was a Thunder GM? What would you do if you was Kevin Durant? You know what I mean? Talking about basketball, whatever. You, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? So like, subscribe, leave a comment, man. All that good stuff. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, it's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be interesting. You know what I mean? But this your boy, The Real McCoy, man. I'm out. Peace.